時刻は6時5分ですこの時間は栃木のプロバスケットボールチーム宇都宮ブレックスの情報をお伝えしていく高校ブレックスのコーナーですどうでしょうね日本の生活はもう慣れてきましたか、um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting used to it now it was quite a quite a culture shock when I first came but I'm very I'm enjoying it now and、uh, getting used to it for sure maybe、uh, the language barrier was probably the biggest one you know just communicating with、uh, people but Just English fluently. <laughs> but just a little bit of,、uh, little bit of other languages. Like,、uh, my, my father's from Tonga, so I know a little bit of Tongan, but、um, uh, Japanese is pretty hard <laughs> to, to understand, but I'm starting to get a little bit. Owen, Yoroshiku, o n e g a i s h i m a s Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. とか見て終わりしてるから気にはしてんだろうなって思ってるんですけどそんなに練習とかその普段の感じだとかだはあんまりそういうのは見せないっていうか。Uh, situation with Tonga is just、uh, a lot of things unknown you know I didn't know if、uh, my dad's family was okay for a long time and、uh, we didn't hear a lot from them because I think all the internet and stuff was down so that was just a tough time and also Always dealing with injuries is tough, but、uh, luckily I didn't miss any games,、um, which, was a, which was a good thing. But yeah, I think everyone as an athlete goes through little injuries that they have to deal with, and I think you just have to keep a positive mind and, and、uh, work to get as, back as quick as, as possible. Yeah, I wanted to come to Japan to. I think、uh, the B League is a growing league, you know. I think、um, there's a lot of top players coming here. I know a lot of players came from Europe,、um, a lot of very good players.、Um, and I think、uh, the league is growing even more, so I want to be here and be a part of, of that growth. And the、uh, international stage, they, they're becoming a, a better team、um, and becoming well, more well known. Post offense, I think, is、uh, one of my strengths. You know, I like getting the ball in the post and,、uh, and trying to score, and also、um, screen defense. You know, I like being aggressive, and I think Brex is the perfect place to, to、uh, implement that. I think their defense mentality is the same as mine, and I think I've、uh, adjusted quite well with that. こう球際の強さっていうのがすごくあってしっかりやり続けてくれるんで、まあ、ちょっと何回かバスケ回ったらいい,いいやつになるじゃないですか,なんか速攻とかでも走っててボールもらえるのに来なかったら走れなくなるみたいなしかも球際強いんでちょっとある程度パス悪くてもあの取ってフィニッシュまで行ってくれるんでやりやすいです。I think one, one thing to, that I had to adjust to is、uh, there's only three imports here, so、um, I think you're asked to do a bit more. You know, when I was in Europe,、uh, every team we had five, six imports, so you know, everyone could、uh, do, do something different. But, and,、uh, These Japanese guards are very fast over here, so, <laughs> so getting used to you know, different defenses and、uh, guarding them.
very hard uh, as a big man to stay stay in front of him. You know, he's probably one of the best uh, guards and quickest guards in the B League for sure, and uh, one of the guard, quickest guards I've ever played against. So um, he's a high level player and uh, and he's very good at uh, you know those crazy shots and getting to the rim. He's super fast. So. Uh, the best you can do is just try to stay in front of him. あの、でもいろんなディフェンスやっぱり僕使うんで、あの引き続きアイザックのその日本のそういう部分に慣れててくれれば Gold is still a champion championship and uh, next game we need to show that I think. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Growing up, I was very shy as a kid. Uh, my mom said, oh, you know, I didn't really talk to anyone and was very quiet and shy. What kind of kids you were? Uh, <laughs> just, uh, I think, very sporty kids. You know, my father grew up playing rugby, so he, we all played rugby growing up. Um, also playing football, playing soccer. Uh, you know, in Eng England, uh, soccer is the biggest sport, so I grew up playing that. Uh, and then when I moved to New Zealand, I started playing volleyball and uh, basketball also. When did you start basketball? Uh, like around 12, 13, around that age, yeah. And uh, I enjoyed watching it first, um, you know, in the 2000s with, uh, you know, Tracy McGrady, Kobe Bryant, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, LeBron James, the younger version. Just watching them, uh, it was very cool and I enjoyed watching it and then I started playing and enjoyed it a lot. Quite different when I play. Too physical when I first started playing, you know, and uh, I used to get called for a lot of fouls. I think that comes a bit from uh, rugby as well. I think I just worked on it from an early age, you know, I'm not the tallest big man, but uh, I think the hook shot is a way of getting a, getting a shot off of a taller opponent. Uh, there's no secret, just I think uh, one of my high school coaches, I used to do, you know, extra, extra workouts with him, whether that's before school at 7 a.m., 6, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., or after school, and he just got me doing hundreds of, of those shots hook shots, you know, and uh, I think it's a little bit natural touch, but I think that's just a, a lot of reps, repetitions, uh, and hundreds and hundreds, or uh, maybe thousands probably of, uh, of hook shots in practice first. I think when I was 17, that was the biggest year, um, biggest development year of my career. Um, professional team in my in my country signed me as a development player, and so I was uh, playing with you know grown men who have been playing for years, 10 years, almost 20 years. So that was uh, huge for me going up against those those guys, and they were beating me up when I was a 17-year-old kid. Uh, they weren't holding back; they were playing physical. That was amazing playing against Team USA, Steph Curry, James Harden. So it was, it was that was a great experience as a 20-year-old playing against the the best in the world, you know. And uh, I went to Spain after that for three years, and uh, I think that's because of how I played at the at the World Cup in Spain. I think a lot of teams saw me there, um, which definitely helped. 
I think in, in college uh, is when I started having a lot of confidence, you know, I was in New Zealand it's, there's not so much people and it's like uh, I was a, a big fish in a small pond, you know, and, uh, and then when I went to America that's when you prove yourself against, you know, the, America's the biggest hub of basketball and you, once I could uh, perform against them and my coach said how, uh, how I could be, you know, I had potential to, to be a professional, that's when I really got confidence in myself and started believing and your grace will be enough for my eyes can see what you have prepared. Yeah, I think uh, my first uh, first year in Spain was the biggest culture shock because I was, it was my first year, you know, in a country where they don't speak English. Um, there's a completely different culture. Uh, I remember getting dropped off in my apartment as a, you know, I was 20, 20 years old and uh, got dropped off in my apartment. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm out here alone uh, in a country um, where they don't speak the same language as me. But yeah, first couple months and then I got my best friend to come uh, fly out and, and live with me for a bit to help me, you know, get, get accustomed and then fly my sister out um, to come stay with me too. So they, they helped me get settled and then I think uh, after that first year I, I got used to being alone. <laughs> to the darkest of night. The, the crowds in, uh, in Europe can, quite, can be quite harsh and uh, in Europe if you have a bad game or if you mess up or something you'll definitely get a lot of uh, you know messages on Instagram saying how how you messed up and some maybe some abusive messages too so I came to Japan before the last World Cup to play. Uh, we played two games here against Japan, and uh, yeah, I noticed the fans were very uh, like they're, they're good. They're good fans and supporting the, the home team, but also respectful to, to the away team as well. But um, yeah, I didn't really hear much. And then after that trip, I always wanted to come back. And then when when the opportunity came up, I I took it because it's you know a new experience, and I really enjoyed my time last time, and I'm glad I came. It's uh, I'm really enjoying it here. I think uh, especially how they made the made the final last year, you know, that just speaks how how um, how much of a top team Brex is, um, but also. You know, you have guys like Marco, who is uh, one of the best guards in the league, I think, who plays uh, on the national team. And um, I've talked to people in J Japan, and they just talked about how how good of an organization Brex is. You know, they look after the players. The fans are amazing. Um, Um, after we lost the first two games, I was expecting the same thing, but it was just nothing but supportive messages and you know encouraging messages from the fans, and that just made me feel um, feel very good and at home. You know, the fans here, no matter how we play, um, they're always very encouraging and respectful and polite, and I think that makes you want to play harder because I, I want to you know make them happy also and uh, give them something to celebrate. Before I came, I heard they were very good, but when you get here, or even before I was here, like all the support, the messages and stuff, they're definitely uh, amazing fans. And you see, when you even when we travel, they come and travel with us, and it doesn't feel like an away game when we're going away because we have so many home fans. So, and our home games are just crazy too. The atmosphere is amazing, the support is amazing. So I, I love playing in front of the, the fans. I want to be an option, a big option inside, you know, with Josh we got uh, two big men that can score inside quite quite well and 
that helps with the inside outside. We have great guards, so I think that helps Bricks to be a, a good threat with the inside outside and makes us a great team. At the end I just want to be here um, for my for my best years to to produce for whatever team I play for and um, win the championship, and that's that's my goal uh, as long as I'll be here.